Federico from Team Park Players, and we are here with another video. This time, we're going to showcase you guys the three lists of our three members of the team that arrived first, second, and fourth in our VIP Cup. So, pretty, pretty good results, I would say. And now, a shout out to our sponsor. The first one being Grad, that stands for Great Authority and Authentication Division. That is a brand new certification for quality and authenticity of collectible cards. They want to offer professional and non-professional collectors an high quality and specific service regarding the authenticity and quality of collectible cards. Moreover, Gra offers the same services regarding whole brands in all TCG languages, so go check them out. The next shout out will be for Playmat Per Tutti. They make stunning custom playmats with a totally amazing play with, let me tell you. You can make your own personal playmat starting from a picture of your own or even ask for a brand new project that will be your unique piece of art. So go check them out and don't forget to follow them on their social media. All the information will be in the description down below. Obviously guys, comment down below, give us a like, subscribe if you think these lists are the best uh, options that our players could have brought to the game. Obviously, we really, really uh, want to know what your opinions are. Any suggestions, please leave us in the comment. And yeah, we will move forward introducing the first place of the winner of the VAP Cup, Luca Masetti. You probably know him as Tegelek Online, and let's not be uh, falsely modest here. He's the best online player I've ever witnessed playing. We're waiting for, for a real event so he can top easily an LCS on a YCS. Because he's got the skills, man. He's got the moves, and, and he's a beast doing what he does. So, Maze, do your thing. Hi guys, it's uh, Luca Masetti from Purple Ace team, Tagali on Dueling Book, and today I'm gonna present you the lists me and my friends uh, brought to the Purple Ace Cup VIP edition. So first of all I'm gonna start with uh, my list, and we can see a pretty standard entrap lineup with uh, three Ash Blossom and three Gum and one Driver. Uh, they are the most uh, general hand traps, and uh, they are good against uh, almost any matchup. Um, then we have uh, the virtual world lineup, uh, it is uh, uh, maxed out uh, on every card of the archetype because uh, the main problem of the deck is breaking, uh, so to avoid uh, breaking or, or to reduce the, the chances of breaking I, I maxed out on the archetype, so we have uh, 3 um, Lulu, 3 Gigi, 3 Nian, 3 Lao Lao 3 Lili, uh, 3 Kowloon, uh, 3 Qinglong, and uh, in the traps we see 3 Chuchi. Not, not uh, much to say about that, uh, I, I guess you have to play a 3 off of everything uh, just to avoid breaking, and uh, also you play desires, so uh, it is, uh, it is uh, risky to, to cut down uh, some cards because uh, you may end up without copies of it after a desire. Uh, then for the non-archetype uh, cards we have uh, three triple tactical talents uh, which is uh, really good to, to play through hand traps uh, and uh, also it is a, a decent card going second to break boards uh, because the deck has uh, the capability to break boards going second uh, using cards like talents like gamma but also Qinglong and Chuchi uh, uh, can, can be useful uh, to break a board. Then we have the three desires, uh, they are mandatory because of uh, the consistency issues of the deck. Uh, you, you have to up uh, the consistency as much as you can and that is the reason behind also upstart goblin. Uh, then we have the emergency teleport uh, which can bring uh, a Lulu or a Neon from the deck. It, it is a starter and an extender. Um, and it can bring you a tuner or a non-tuner from the deck level 3 so it is, uh, it is uh, really good, I think it is, uh, it is mandatory as well and then we have the one off of, of skill drain I just had the one space uh, left in the main deck and I put uh, this card because uh, it is an auto win card uh, if you flip it uh, game 1 against a combo deck it is, uh, it is game, they don't have an out and the deck is uh, pretty capable of playing under skill drain because all the effects uh, activate in end so you can uh, play your archetype as, uh, as skill drain wasn't on field uh, and 
you just put big bodies on board and uh, have a two chip up and usually other decks can can't really play under skill drain so in some turns you will be able to, to win the duel uh, not to forget if you really need to you can also pop your own skill drain with your two chip then we we move on to the extra deck uh, we can see one Stardust Star Warrior, it is part of the combo, you usually make it turn one uh, to, to draw an extra card. Uh, Coral Dragon, it is an, another level, level 6 uh, synchro, uh, but it, it is tuner, so it is uh, needed as well. Uh, it makes you draw a card when you link it away, uh, but sometimes you, you need to make a level 6 tuner and sometimes you, you, may, you need to make a level 6 non tuner, so both Stardust and Coral are needed. And then we have the Juju, which is a good archetype card, um, and sometimes when, when you, don't, you, and you don't have nothing, you can try to pass on it, because if you have two monsters with the same type and attribute but different name in your graveyard, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects, so it can be really hard to out. Uh, and you can try to stall behind it and also the second effect uh, that uh, sends a card from, from field to graveyard can, uh, can come in a clutch sometimes. Uh, then for the Synchro 9s we have um, Crocosaur, uh, you, you make it uh, before going into a VFD uh, to draw an extra card. Cloud Castle, it is uh, needed uh, for, uh, for particular combos. Uh, to extend into VFD or double VFD when, when you when you weren't supposed to do that uh, without Cloud Castle Vermilion uh, it is uh, super useful in this deck because it can be used uh, um, to to pop uh, opponent's card but also to pop himself and to add uh, back uh, one tuner from your uh, banished cards so you can use it in particular situations so for example if you need uh, La and you don't have access to it, you can uh, Foolish Burial it uh, with another uh, Virtual World name uh, and then punish it for Vermilion, popping himself and you add back Roshi and then you, sum you summon Roshi and um, make a Cloud Castle which brings back Vermilion and you, are, you have VFD when you weren't supposed to have VFD then we have the Shen Shen, not much to, to, to say about that the best Synchro 9 of the deck uh, and uh, and that's it for the Synchro 9s. Then we have uh, the Zolkin package with Zolkin and Crystal Wing. Uh, I, I choose to play it because uh, it is an extra out to Dragoon and it is a way to put in a gate before uh, going to VFD uh, if you have en enough uh, hand. Um, and also Crystal Wing, it is. Uh, pretty hard to out. Uh, if, if you just stand on, on the crystal wing too, sometimes it could be enough, maybe if you have an end or something like that. Uh, then we have one uh, Psy Frame Lord Omega, uh, because uh, sometimes you drop Gamma in your turn and uh, you, you can go straight into Omega and rip another card from the opponent's end. Um, and uh, you, you, could, you could also cut it because the driver is a level 6 non-tuner so you, you can uh, use it to, to um, synchro climb and to make a synchro 9 and stuff like that but uh, I really liked Omega so I'm, I'm keeping it in then we have um, XYZ lineup with uh, one breaks word uh, rank 3 it is really useful because you can make it really easily and it can pop a card from your deck, uh, from your, uh, it can pop a card from your field and your opponent field, so maybe you can pop even your own Qinglong to have it in grave if you need to, and, um, and uh, in, you can go into battle, beat over something uh, and orbit into something, and then in P2 you can make his house over it and uh, clear the whole field. Then we have the Utopia, uh, it is uh, in, in there mainly for, uh, for Dragoon, uh, to have uh, an easy out to Dragoon, because when you summon it, it makes uh, uh, the opponent uh, uh, master uh, go, to, go to zero attack, uh, so you can uh, easily beat over Dragoon, and in main phase 2 you can make Zeus over it again, and then we have of course Zeus and uh, to VFD, uh, not much to say about that, the best card uh, in the deck. Moving on to the side deck, we can, we can see I chose uh, Trinibiru, 
3 דרל לוקברד, 3 לנסיה, 3 דרקר לרנומור, 1 ארטיס פדר דאסטר, 1 רד ריבוט ו-1 אימפריאל אורדר. So what is the reasoning behind that? Um, mainly I was scared about combo matchups uh, and going second against them because of course when you go first your plan is making the FD and winning the game on the spot. But when you go second against matchups like uh, Dragon Link or um, Infernoble it, it can be really hard to break the board so uh, I, I, <laughs> I wanted to have uh, a pretty strong uh, end trap lineup to side in when you're going second against those deck so that is the reason behind the Trinibiru and the Tridroll Droll is mainly because, uh, because of Dragon Link which was uh, uh, really played in the last format and really popular and uh, Trilancia for the mirror match because of course in the mirror match if they make VFD uh, you lose usually And then we have 3 Dark Ruler no more, uh, against, uh, ag- again for combo decks, but it can be useful in a lot of matchups, for example, even, uh, even against the uh, Dino, uh, it can be good. And then we have a, a small backer removal package, which is uh, one Arpis Feather Duster and one Red Reboot. Um, I, I played just, just this because uh, it was a small tournament with top players and uh, I wasn't expecting uh, uh, back row decks but combo deck uh, so I, I didn't put, uh, put in like twin twisters and stuff like that but uh, I wanted to max out on entraps and I think uh, the choice paid out and then we have one imperial order to side in when going first uh, because it can be uh, again an auto win card like skill drain and I think that's all for my list uh, now I can move on to my friends list which uh, as you see will be very similar so the, li- uh, the list um, Federico Ravanetti brought uh, Letto Il Pezzente and we can see that the main deck is uh, identical to mine uh, with the exception of uh, Skill Drain switched with uh, Imperial Order and the reasoning behind the card is the same they are both out to win cards going first and Imperial Order can be uh, good also in the mirror, da- in the mirror match uh, so maybe choose Imperial Order over Skill Drain for that reason and uh, also the extra deck is uh, the same as mine uh, so I'm not gonna return on that we, we can see uh, some small differences in the side deck uh, he chose the uh, same as me, Trinibiru and Trilancia uh, that is for a mirror match and the combo matchups uh, like Infernoble and Dragon Link uh, because we are talking about last format Uh, and uh, Tridal Cooler no more, uh, also for combo matchups. Uh, and then uh, he, he has got three Twin Twister, uh, one RP Feather Duster, one Red Reboot, and one Skill Drain. Uh, so uh, RP and Red Reboot are the same as mine, but he, he, he chose uh, three uh, Twin Twister while I choose three Droll. Um, he, he was probably scared about uh, back row matchups, uh, which I wasn't because I think the deck is stronger than the back row decks, even without siding. Uh, but it, it is understandable, uh, but I was more scared about uh, going second against combo deck, but the choice is, un- the choice is understandable. Uh, of course, if, if you play rated on dueling book or stuff like that, maybe you would, uh, you would put in uh, uh, three twin twister or uh, in, in a longer tournament uh, where you play a l- lots of different decks and the skill drain uh, I don't have to return on that so I can move on to Lorenzo Mercato's list we can see that the main deck is uh, uh, really similar to mine uh, he's got uh, again the Imperial Order in the main deck in the spot of the skill drain uh, he chose to play um, one called by the grave in the main deck uh, which is fair enough, it can be helpful against entraps uh, in the spot of one uh, triple tactical talent and uh, the Trinibiru uh, in place of uh, the Triash Blossom which, uh, which I like to be fair because uh, he, he built his main deck for, uh, for beating combo deck which, is, uh, the meta, which was the meta of the format so um, it is an understandable choice And uh, the, the extra deck again is uh, the same as mine, uh, so n- not, not as much to say about deck. And we can move on, uh, we can move on to the side deck, uh, which is really spicy. 
Uh, we have uh, uh, one Pankratops. It is uh, a good going second card against uh, almost any matchup you can side it in. Uh, two Ghost Ogre, I guess, to be spicy and to punish uh, uh, Infernoble, uh, for example, for using his old first effect. Chulensia for the mirror deck. Uh, three token collector. Um, a really, a really good choice against Infernoble. Maybe he was scared about going second with. Uh, um, against Infernoble, so it is uh, one of the best trap and traps against them because it it can uh, it can it can uh, stop the turn uh, alone. Uh, while uh, usually you need uh, uh, two end traps uh, at least to stop them. Then we have one Mystic Mine and uh, one Dino War Dino Wrestling. I guess the Dino War Dino Wrestling it is a mistake because. Uh, it is supposed to be played if you play the uh, Foolish Burial Goods. Uh, otherwise, uh, alone it doesn't do nothing because you need to send it to Grave uh, to be able to summon Punker Tops uh, from, from your deck. But the Mystic Mine is, um, is kind of a last resource, but uh, it can win you game because no one expects a Mystic Mine in a Virtual World. So it is spicy, I like it. Two Dark Ruler, uh, okay, same reasoning uh, from the others. Uh, one Arpis Feather, one Retribute, and one Skill Drain. And I'm, I, I'm not gonna return on them. Okay, guys, uh, that's all for the list and uh, for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and uh, subscribe to YouTube channel and all the other shit like TikTok and stuff like that. And uh, as my teammates are forcing me to say hit, stay plus and stay powerful.